teach how to read stuff in from files, and now we want to see how to write stuff out from files. So I've got a little basic program um, typed up right here that asks the user to type in some text and then grabs it from them. And what I want to do is I want to get that stuff that they typed into a file. So my first step is I need this fstream library again. F is short for file. And then I'm going to have to create a, um, a file stream. And instead of if stream this time for in file stream, I want of stream as my type for out file stream. And then I'm going to choose a variable name. So let's just say out file or output or something to that effect so you remember what this is. And then just like with in files, I have two options. I can right here tell it right now what I want it to be called. Um, so I have this file sample.txt. I just want to show you some, some stuff. So I'm going to have it go into sample.txt. And I still have to make sure that everything works. Um, so I'm going to check this. Um, if this guy failed, uh, then I'm going to say you have an error. And if it succeeded, then I'm going to um, write my contents out into it. And guess what? Just like in filing replaces the C in, out filing replaces the C out. So if I wanted to put what they had typed on the screen, I would type this. Um, so all I have to do to change it so it goes to the file is change this to the name of my out file stream, which is out file. And that will place what I typed into the file. And when I'm finished, I want to close it. Up. So let's see what that looks like. Run this thing. Okay, type some stuff. This is the text I'm typing right now. Okay, hit enter. I didn't get my error message, so hopefully stuff got written out. It would be nice if I put a confirmation here, just so the user sees some kind of confirmation that their action did something. And I should be able to go into sample text and check it out. It is different now than it was before. It has been replaced with whatever I typed. Okay. So the first thing you might say to yourself is, well, what if I don't want to erase what's in there? What if I just want to add to it? Well, when I go to open this guy, I can give it a second parameter. And the parameter is iOS colon colon app for append. And now it should open this file stick the cursor right here at the end and add stuff to it. Let's see if that works. Okay, here uh, is some more text. Uh, I'm typing and I still have typos everywhere, whatever. I don't care if file was written. Let's go see. Here's my original. Now here's my new text. Here's some more text that I'm typing. So if I want to append, I can tack this on the end. This also works if I'm doing the command where I say outfile.open as a second line. Um, I also want to show you that if I put the regular formatting stuff in here, like endels or like tabs, I just want to prove this to you. Oops. I'm going to put something else over here. Type stuff again. All those things still work if I'm working with a file. Uh, proof that formatting stuff still works. Okay. So if I go and look at my file, here it is. Um, I've dropped down a line from that first endel. Here's my two tabs. All the formatting things that would work on the console will work in here. That includes width setting um, and all that business. Okay. Um, what else? Well, um, there's an interesting thing about out files that's not true about in files. With in files, if the file doesn't already exist over here, um, it complains. With out files, it doesn't complain. Let me show you what happens. Let's change the name of this to surprise. You'll look over here and see in my files folder. There's nothing called that. All right. Uh, what's going to happen? Oh, the suspense is killing you, I'm sure. Bam. File was written. Check it out. Surprise suddenly exists over here. If the file doesn't exist, um, it makes it. And so there is my output um, into my new file. So that is how you write out to a file.